friends welcome back to Jimmy and Connor YouTube channel this is the 19th video in the Java library management Java FX library management tutorial development series and in the last video we have seen how to read the configuration from a file and display it in the settings UI I mean we have a configuration file called config.txt txt where we store the configuration information and then we load it into the settings view so in this video what we are going to do is we are going to give the uh, ability to modify the settings i mean if i set this to 5.0 and save it i want to persist that change so let's see how we can do that so the basic thing is when i press on the save button the but handle save button action method will be called so this method will be called <coughs> so let us do the recording so first thing we have to do is we have to get a preferences object so preferences preferences equals and we are reading the current we are getting i mean uh, we want to get the latest configuration from the file so that is preferences dot get preferences then what i'm going to do is preferences dot set end this because fine and i'm going to read that from the current user interface i mean current uh, the current value from this text field so uh set end days without fine and we can take that i mean for keep things simple let me store it to a variable first so uh, in end days equals end days without fine dot get text it is in a text format so we have to pass it to in so in teacher in teacher dot pass it I mean you can cut this much part and put it here but that will make things complex for beginners so that's why I'm going to keep it in a different variable right now so we got end days then we definitely have a float variable with fine per day so we have already a fine per day so fine uh, that's enough so fine equals float dot pass float then we are going to read that input from find per day. So find per day dot get text. That's it. <coughs> then we need two string variables, string u name equals. Then we don't have to pass it because it's already in the string form. Username dot get get text. Then string pass equals password dot get text. So we got the four latest values to these variables and all that we have to do is we have to update this preference object with latest values then it is it is going to be end days uh, set days without fine then preferences dot set fine per day then we are going to set fine then preferences dot set username set username and I'm going to set the u name and preferences dot set password so that's it now what we want to do is we want to write this preferences this modified preferences into a file let's see how we can do that we can write to file from here or we can uh, implement the, or create a method here that will uh, write the file so I think uh, let's create a method here that will uh, provide the encapsulation so that we don't have to worry about reading or writing from another method so public and well, we can write static method or uh, let's write static static preferences no uh, sorry static void write preference to file <coughs> so we want to write preferences into file and it is uh, very much similar to this right uh, so let me copy and paste the any config uh, what we have done here is we created a default configuration and then brought it into a file during the startup of the program so here we don't want to write the default configuration we want to write the current configuration so preferences preference and we we will receive it as a parameter and then we write that into the configuration file so coming back to the settings controller, what I want to do is I want to write this configuration in the file. So preferences dot 
right preference to file and I am going to give this preference as object to so, uh, so the uh, existing preference will be overwritten and the new preference will be added into the file and one more thing is uh, whenever we are starting the program I am calling this preference dot init config this is not needed anymore because in case if there is no preferences object I mean preferences file the preferences class init config will take care of it instead of the get preferences so you don't have to explicitly call the init config method let me compare the program first then coming back to the settings loader i am going to run this file so run file and uh, here my default value is fine for, for fine per day is 2.0 i'm going to set it to one rupees in india uh, it is one rupees so number of days he can take keep the book 12 days and instead of just giving admin i'm going to set it as admin 02 and let's write uh, i mean and i'm going to press on the save button so i haven't given any alert i hope it is saved let us close it and go back to the library section config.txt gedit and as you can see we have changed the default the, the configuration of the file also so the end is without file is 12 Fine for day 1.0, admin 02, and password is admin. And let us run the program here again, run, and let's see uh, if we are getting the latest value. As you can see, we are getting the latest value. And one more thing that we have to do is we have to give an alert that it was uh, successfully saved. So write preference to file. Here we can give, if nothing goes wrong, we can uh, create an alert here. And uh, in the previous tutorials, I have created alert classes for each and every alert message. So uh, in order to simplify things, I created an alert maker class. And inside that alert maker class, I have uh, added a number of static method for simple alert error message and uh, complex error message like that. So for now, I'm going to show a simple alert which will create an information message with a given title and content with a header text as null. So I, do, I just have to create, uh, write only one line of code and it will call this much line of code uh, that thereby simplifying the program. So alert maker is a public static class so you don't have to, uh, it's a static method so you don't have to create an object. Alert maker dot show simple alert and I'm going to set it as success. Uh, settings updated and in case there was an error we have to show that too so what I'm going to do is instead of show simple alert alert maker dot show error message and we can give that error message here you can pass the uh, exception object here so we will get a stack trace and then we can give a title failed as the title and string content can't save configuration file so that's it now let us come to the program and run it for once again settings loader run file and uh, it is 12 I'm going to set it as 30 and then save as you can see settings updated and one more thing is when we press on the cancel button we have to close the window so for that I'm going to the settings control no settings controller and here handle cancel button is there so i'm going to there are multiple ways uh, to uh, what we want is we need a stage so we are going to take a stage from the get scene get i have done this a lot of times in this tutorial series so that's what i'm that's why i'm not uh, explaining it stage dot close so this will close this stage so so far so good we have implemented the settings and the last thing we have to do is we have to connect these settings with the main user interface so our main user interface is main.fxmo and uh, let me open that first and when i click on this settings button i want to load my settings so currently uh, when i click on the view books load book table then here load settings so coming back to the code and I am going to create a controller and uh, in the main controller I can I should get a load settings so load settings so there are a number of load methods up there so for simple simplicity let me put that into the top so we have load book table we have load member table and what we am going to do is I am going to use the load window function and uh, 
the title of the window should be settings settings and here library assistant it's not in the UI part it is uh, just in the settings so UI settings bar settings dot xml so that's it I'm going to compile it <coughs> let's run the program we are not running this is no longer needed the settings can load and is no longer being there because we will not be running settings as a single module we'll be running it from the main program so I'm going to just press on this and uh, let's wait as you can see we got settings and when I click on the settings I got the settings and I'm in CO3 I'm going to set it as admin uh, CO3 so settings updated and I'm going to cancel it then as you can see it is persisting so the settings is persisting so thank you guys thank you for watching this video in the next video I will show you how to use uh, hashing to securely store the password because as of now if you take the configuration file and open it in a text editor you can see the password which is not at all secure so in the next video we will see the hashing so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos